to the Kent Lap Podcast. Or maybe even patients, some of your most fit patients, but even for yourself, are you getting are you getting sick ever? Are you getting sick a couple of times a year? Like how often are you lay down on the couch with the cold or the flu or something like that? It's like, funny. Uh, cause I don't call it getting sick. Like I don't see it as a, as a, a bad thing. We talked about that earlier. It's your body expressing a symptom, but your mm. body's expressing health. Mm-hmm. Like if you don't have a fever, that's an issue. The fever is designed to heat your body up and kill what's attacking you. Yes. Why would I shut that process down? Mm-hmm. If I got diarrhea, why would I stop that? My body's expelling it as fast as it can. Same thing like vomiting, like all everything, like our society just looks at it backwards. That's a good point. I'd actually kind of forgotten about that. It's been so long since my wife is super into this stuff. So yeah, if a kid's <laughs> getting a fever, that's what... Crank that just like thing let it, up. Let it go, unless it gets crazy, you know. Um, so, yeah, yeah. No, that's a good point, actually. But but now that you say this, there's a lot of people that, oh, shoot, they got a little cough. Now they're taking this or they're fever, so now they're bringing the fever down. They got a little diarrhea. It's tummy aches. Yeah. Now it's peptabismal. It's just always something. Basically, they're just trying to, like, flatline the symptoms. But, oof, that could be really, like, stuffing things in your body that are trying to get out. A lot of those people are sick all the time because their body doesn't get to go through the process of figuring out what it is and creating antibodies or remembering, oh, yeah, we've seen this before. We mm-hmm. know how to take care of this. Uh, you're, you're just shutting down your body's immune system so it never learns anything. Mm-hmm. It's like everybody's cleaning off everything right now with all these bleach and Clorox and stuff. You have to be, you have to have germs for your body to, to get stronger. Mm. And we just, like our podcast, we just recorded on Monday or Tuesday. It was, it's the germ theory versus the terrain theory. So you've got two medical guys back in the day, Louis Pasteur and Antoine, I don't even know how to say his last name, but it's back in the 1800s. And they're, they're battling about basically what causes people to get sick. Mm. And Louis Pasteur had Napoleon in his back pocket. So he won. And he basically said, germs make people sick. Bad germs make bad people sick. So let's sterilize everything. Mm -hmm. And now we got, especially nowadays, we have all these super bugs that nobody's immune to. Mm -hmm. But if you look at the terrain theory, which Antoine was all about, is if I create a terrain within my body that can kill any germ that comes at me, because you're never going to kill all the germs. Right. Like... The flu is never going to go away. Coronavirus is never going to go away. It's always going to be. So if I create a terrain that can handle that stuff, yeah, I might get a fever, which is a good thing. I might get a stuffy nose. I might get a cough. I might get whatever it is, but that's my body's doing the right thing at the right time in order to create long-term health. Yeah, yeah. And in our society, it's all instant gratification. I want to feel better now. Yes. Oh, I can't take three days off of work. Well then you're going to get sick again later and again and again and again. Might as well knock it out in three days Mm -hmm. instead of postponing it day after day after day after day and Mm -hmm. just going through this cycle. Like let your body do what it's designed to do. Mm -hmm. So that's like my whole, our whole premise. It's your body knows what it's doing. Mm -hmm. It hasn't changed since the beginning of time. Yeah. God didn't make a mistake. Yeah. Like this coronavirus thing, God wasn't like, oh shoot. I forgot about the coronavirus. Like, no. Yeah. You create a body, you give it what it needs, and it will fight off the coronavirus. It'll fight off cancer. Everybody has cancer. Every single human body, right? It's just our immune systems are are beating it right now. Yes. And then you cause havoc by adding in poor food, lack of motion, lack of oxygen, sedentary lifestyle, medications, and the body's like... Oh, this is a breeding ground. Let's mm-hmm. grow every gnarly thing we can. Yeah. Oof. So like you look at it like we talk about this a lot, like a, a dump. Everybody's trash goes there. What what lives in dumps? Rats, gnarly bugs, and all the ma- I hate maggots. Maggots. I hate rats. <laughs> so the thing is like if I kill all the rats and the maggots in the dump, a week later. 10 days later, a year, a month, whatever, they're going to come back. But if I clean up the dump, what never comes back? Mm-hmm. 
I mean, a rat might show up looking for something, but it's not going to stay because there's nothing there for it to yeah. eat off of. Yeah, that's a great analogy. So, the, like, our whole goal is to create a healthy, beautiful, pristine, like, I always envision, like, rolling hills and, like, you know, the sky, you see the antelope and the deer doing their thing. Like, let me create that within my system so that if a rat does come, it has no reason to stay. Man, that's a really interesting way to think about it. Extremely helpful. That's put better than I might have ever heard before, honestly. 